video was um, the first one of the first videos I've ever made through my webcam. So we're really going to throw back here. But so I want to make an updated one because things have definitely changed since then, obviously. And so it's still up there if you want to watch it. Feel free to travel through my channel's videos and whatever you want to watch, watch. But anyways, um, I just want to start off with saying my shampoo and conditioner. So we're just going to jump right into this video, I guess. So I'm using the Aussie Moist Shampoo as well as the Aussie Moist 3 Minute Miracle Deep Treatment Conditioner. And it says deep with six E's. Yep, six E's. So it really... I have, this is probably my 10th or 11th tube of this conditioner, just because I love it so much, and I've been using this for the past three years or so since I've discovered it, and I, I like the combination of this. I don't really have any complaints, and my preference of shampoo and conditioner always changes because I like to switch things up a lot, so, um, but I just, I like this combination, so I figured I'd tell you guys about it, and something that I've noticed with the conditioner itself is that if you leave it in your hair for at least three minutes, as it suggests for you to do, as it recommends for you to do, actually, um, like say you put it in your hair and you finger comb through your ears down because it's important not to let the conditioner get to your roots so that way your roots aren't going to be appearing as oily or greasy or things like that. Um, I just kind of let it sink in while I'm doing other things like washing my body and whatnot. So I let it sink in and finally as I'm getting out of the shower then I rinse it all out. So that way it really has a chance to settle into my hair and just really work into it I guess and really does the magic that it does. So. I really like it and it's cool because it has like a little, um, like a hole here but it's closed and so you only squeeze it and that's how the product comes out. I thought that was pretty cool then say to use a cap and flip it. You just grab it, squeeze and go. It's great. I love it. Okay, moving on to um, when my hair is damp, I like to use the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Plus Keratin Leave-In Conditioner. This is my second tube of this. It's around up to here and I got this in September. So this really does last a long time and honestly if you don't like, I only put in like two to three sprays after I get out of the shower. I put it from below my ears downward here onto like the back of my hair where I can't really reach it if I would bring it forward and also just from my ear downward on my left side. and. I really like it. I mean, it really does detangle my hair. It leaves it feeling really soft. The frizz just kind of goes away, which is awesome because no one really likes frizz due to humidity and the weather. And so I really like it. I mean, it is kind of pricey to be a drugstore product because it's around like $19 to $20, which is kind of crazy. But I mean, it does last a while and it really does help my hair. So if you ever have the chance to try it out, like say your friend has it at her house and you're at a sleepover or something and you say, oh, what can I try this out after... I don't know, you shower at her house or something like that, then try it out because honestly, it does really make a difference and I just really like it. Another product that I love to use are Moroccan Argan Oils and I've tried different ones. I've tried the Target version. I've tried like the Moroccan Argan Oil, the Organics Shampoo and Conditioner. I just never really like those, honestly, even though they are cheaper than um, the product I'm about to show you guys. I really don't think it really did my hair justice or did it as well as the way that this product is, and might as well mention the product I'm about to tell you guys. It is the Moroccan Oil, um, Moroccan Oil Treatment. It looks like this, and it says for all hair types, so all hair types, and it's alcohol-free, which I really like because, you know, um, just putting chemicals like that onto your hair isn't that great, even though I'm about to show you guys all these products I'm about to put in my hair, but um, I really like it. It makes my hair feel so soft, and it, it smells so lovely. I... Uh, and this is a salon product, so I did go to my salon and get this, and um, I've been using this for about a year, a f fully a year maybe? Yes, I think uh, I think it's been like at least a full year, and you only need the time, like you don't even need a full pump of this, you need like half, not even a half, you need like a third of a pump of this, okay? Because you need, you don't need a lot of this, because a lot, little bit goes such a long way with that product, and it is around $40 if I'm not mistaken, so it is expensive, however, again, I've been using it for over a year now, and I'm still not even halfway done with the bottle, and I love it. Honestly, if you're into investing something, and, because your hair is something that you have every day, so I feel like if you have at least one product that is luxurious and just makes your hair so much better, then I really think it's worth it because you're going to be using it for such a long time, especially if you use little bits of it every single day or every other day. So this is just an oil I really love to use. Honestly, this has done amazing things to my hair that it would not do if I were not to put it in. Next up, I have to be honest, I'm not really sure what these products that I'm about to show you guys um, do to my hair exactly, but it leaves my hair like really soft and smells really good and it's the Schwarzkopf Gliss Curt Hair Repair in Ultimate Volume 
and sat and relax. And I'm not sure if I've showed you guys this in a video before. I feel like I have, but maybe I haven't. Looks like this. I've used a lot of it. I've gotten this in Germany, so if you want to get it, you can get it online. But I know Schwarzkopf has um, different products that are available at CVS, I'm pretty sure. Um, but I just put this in. It just smells like... I, okay, I'm not, I can't I can't describe it to you, but it really it smells like you know when you get, go to a hair salon and you let them wash your hair and put nice products in it and it smells really good like for the entire day after that. This is what this product does. These, but I have like two different kinds. So if I run out of these, I am all set for the next um, however many years that it's going to last me for. So I just kind of spray this over my hair. I especially put the Satin Relax, the anti-frizz one, on my roots because um, the back of my hair gets really frizzy and it just kind of puffs out if I let it air dry, which I tend to do. So um, this really does help with that. It helps tame the mane of hair attached to my scalp. So I really like these products. Okay, last but not least, I figured I'd show you guys a dry shampoo that is my ultimate favorite dry shampoo in the entire world ever because I really like dry shampoo because say you have second day hair or sometimes even third day hair, um, I would really not suggest fourth day hair because that's just kind of gross, sorry. But um, if you have like second or third day hair and you really like it's late, you woke up late and you're in a rush and you're like, oh my gosh, my hair looks like something an animal would have as though it was living in like the safari or something like that. But so I like to put this Dove dry shampoo in my hair, okay? And I like to lift up a piece of hair and I just kind of spray it in there and I really like work it into my hair. I take my fingers and I just kind of really work it in and it makes my hair look so much more voluminous and it smells really good and it just kind of absorbs the oil I don't know where it takes this oil that was on my head but it just disappears okay this is magic okay the topic of this video is magic because these products all work magic on my hair before I get weirder than I already am so this is just the dry shampoo by Dove I love this this is my second two because I gave my first one to my aunt in Turkey because I don't think they have it there or even if they do she'd have to order it online or something so I just left my um, half used bottle for her because I mean it was there was still half product in there and um I really like this I mean this one is the it has like a gray thing I'm not sure if this is a new one but I like the one where it's just all white I mean they don't have this like gray dry shampoo refresh and revive hair with that water thing like I wish like that would go away because like the original one where it just looked like this was so much better so if you can find the original one then that's better but I mean this still works amazing it works better than the Batiste one I would say because the Batiste one always leaves a white, white residue in my hair and I know that they have like colored dry shampoo but I don't want to put colored stuff on my hair especially if I'm not really dyeing it or anything like that even if it's temporary I just don't want to put that on there so yeah that's that for dry shampoo I really wanted to make this video because I'm announcing it via video for the first time ever um, but if you follow me on Twitter you guys would know that I made a hair appointment for um, July 3rd and I am going to be chopping off my hair and I'm going to be donating it to Pantene's Beautiful Links program which is a um, program for women and girls who have cancer and just makes wigs for them so uh, I'm going to be donating all of my hair so I'm not shaving my head but it's going to be a pixie cut so thanks Shailene Woodley if I can find a picture of her I'll try to insert it somewhere on this page right now but I adore Shailene Woodley so much and I love the way the hair looks on her and so I would say that we have a similar face shape I mean like without the glasses like we have similar structures like our faces kind of go inward so I feel like it might look similar like if she can rock it I hope I'm gonna be able to rock it so I'm going to be chopping up my hair and so I'm really excited but very nervous and thrilled and just so pumped to have this happen uh, that's pretty much the reason why and also I just really wanted to change also because my hair got pretty long if you could see that now so um, if you're wondering how I got my hair to be like this I would do a tutorial on it but honestly it would be 30 seconds long after I got out of the shower I let it air dry and I just kind of take like two sides of my hair like one side two sides and I just kind of twist it like this so you see like that just kind of like that I let it I, I constantly keep on twisting it and then when I woke up in the morning my hair just kind of looked like this so um 